Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you are joining me today for yet but another tutorial. And today I had asked you on YouTube, I had created a poll to ask you what you would like me to create next and the dress won. I mean, it won by a lot. If you are not aware of those little polls I am taking once in a while, they are on my YouTube channel. You just go and you click on community and then you can see whatever poll I posted. And yeah, I do it once in a while. So if you are interested in being part of the decision taking and the creative process, then go there and by all means participate in my next poll. How are you? I know I talk a lot. If you're new to my channel, my intros are long, but it is who I am and I cannot change it at my age too, too, too late. So today's dress, you know how much I love fall and I know a lot of you do too. And here in New England, the foliage colors are, oh my God, so beautiful. I cannot get enough of it and it's short. Soon it's going to be gone. So I'm taking it in and when I go to the craft store, um, I am drawn through all those caramel pumpkin latte colors. So here it is. This is a beautiful, beautiful yarn that I found at my craft store. It's not expensive. I used, of course, about 12 uh, skins of yarn for my dress because it's quite a long dress with long sleeves, but it's from the Lion brand which by the way is one of my favorite brand ever. Next week I will post a fall yarn favorites and you see that a lot of lion brands are in it. It's just, I don't know what they do. Their yarn is so soft, so beautiful, yet most of the time they're not wool or nothing itchy. They're made out of synthetic fibers, but they do such a good job with it. Love it. And the choice of colors. I'm drawn to their colors too, more than any other brand. And this is not sponsored. They don't know I exist, blah, 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 again. All right. So today I wanted to share with you a very impressive dress, if you ask me, very modest, <laughs> but it is really not hard to create. And that is what I love the most about this dress. So first I love the color. Second, I love the yarn, but the stitch is really not hard to make. So I would say it is a beginner plus because you have to have some basic crochet techniques, but just basic. And of course, as usually, I will take you through it slowly, but surely one step at a time. Uh, the size that I am right now is more on the medium size. So in a few days, there will be written pattern for different sizes. This time I will try to incorporate small and then large, extra large and double XL. Um, so here is the address to my blog. I will show you on the screen right there how to get to my blog uh, because a lot of people don't know how to. So here it is. I did that for you. And also, by the way, I get a lot of questions about Anne, could you make me a hoodie? Anne, could you create a, a dress for us? Anne, could you create a bag? You haven't done a bag in a long time. So I, since I began my channel, which is three years ago, I think I have more than 200 videos on my channel. For those of you who are new or not very uh, comfortable navigating through YouTube, here again is a screen showing you how to get to specific things on my channel and get the best out of it. Because if you go to videos, all my videos are there. If you go to playlist, it's organized by subjects. And then you can see if you have missed something, and by the way, if you don't want to miss anything, click on the little bell after you subscribe. Of course, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, what? I see you. I see you. Come and join us. We, we want you. <laughs> but anyway, so whew, I've told you a lot of blah, blah. Here is the dress. I, of course, like to pair it with boots. The beauty of this dress also is that you can make it as long or as short as you would like. And you could make it a sweater too. You could keep it really short and then make a sweater. You could make it a long sweater if you just keep going straight without really flaring at the bottom for the skirt. And yes, and then you can uh, flare it more if you want more kind of looking like a flower at the bottom you are in control. I am just giving you ideas and guiding you through the way I created my dress, but feel free to change it and make it yours. Okie dokie, adi shoki. 
and that is it so i will see you next time for my fall favorite this time and then i will post a poll in my community tab to ask you what you would like for me to create next oh and i always forget here is the winner for last time giveaway congratulations for today of course there is a giveaway i will give one of you one lucky winner all the material necessary to create this dress so that would be the beautiful yarn the crochet hook um and the tapestry needle and the stitch markers because you need four stitch markers also for this tutorial okay to participate i would like you to subscribe of course you have to be subscribed to my channel the giveaway is only for my subscribers that's normal right and also post a comment in the comment box down below with what you would like me to create next yes today i'm asking more of you sorry gotta work a little bit for me okay okay all right i will see you next time in the meantime happy crochet enjoy whatever season it is where you live and i am sending kisses Mwah. love you bye for this tutorial you will need 12 skins of lion brand jeans in color top stitch a crochet hook four millimeters some scissors tapestry needle and four stitch markers all right take your crochet hook and your yarn and make a slip knot you're going to chain seven and I will show you my trick not to twist your chain because we are going to be crocheting in the round. Once you have seven chains, drop one chain, pass your crochet hook through the first chain you had made and without twisting, pass your crochet hook through the chain you just dropped and continue to chain. We will need 87 chains in total and 87 is important. It is a multiple of three. And then for your first round, you're going to chain one and we are going to begin to make our little flower shell pattern. Let me show you how to in slow motion. It is basically a little puff stitch. We are going to make yarn over, pass your crochet hook at the base of the chain, yarn over and back and give it a little pull. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and through the same stitch, Yarn over and back, give it a pull. You have five loops on your crochet hook. And then you're going to yarn over again, go back through the same stitch, yarn over and back, and you have seven loops on your crochet hook. Don't forget to give it a little pull. Yarn over through all the loops on your hook and chain one to seal it. We're going to make another little puff stitch right at the same place. Yarn over through the stitch, yarn over and back. Yarn over through the stitch, yarn over and back. Yarn over through the stitch, yarn over and back. You should have seven loops on your hook. Give it a little pull. Yarn over through all the loops on your hook and you are done with your little cluster. You're going to skip two stitches and you're going to repeat again in the next stitch doing two little clusters separated by a chain one yarn over through the stitch yarn over and back yarn over through the stitch yarn over and back the same stitch and again yarn over through the stitch yarn over and back give it a little pull and yarn over through all the loops chain one and again in that same stitch repeat for another little cluster another little puff stitch and that is what you're going to do all along that first round at the end of your first round you should have 29 little clusters of those two little puff stitches they are our little flowers so 29 consisting of two little buds all right, and I will meet you at the end of your first round. Beautiful. We are at the end of your round one. We are going to tackle the second round. At the end of your round one, you are going to slip stitch on top of the first little puff stitch you had made at the beginning of your round one. Mm -hmm. 
and then you're going to chain three and that will count as your first double crochet. For this second round you will add a double crochet in between every cluster of two buds. But I will show you how to do it of course. In the chain one space in between the two buds you are going to proceed by making a cluster chain one the same way we had made it before and another one right in that same chain space in between the two clusters from the previous round. Now in between the clusters so you have two and two then you have a space in that space you're going to make a double crochet and that is what you're going to repeat all around this second round so find a chain space make two clusters separated by a chain one second cluster doesn't have a chain one and then go to the space in between the next two clusters and the two cluster you just finish and make a double crochet see super easy the whole dress is that easy a little bit of shaping and that is it my friends we are going from the collar down at the end of your round two, you're going to slip stitch at the top of the first chain three you had made. Now we are ready for our third round. Super easy. You're going to make chain three. You're going to make your cluster in the middle of the cluster from the previous round, from round two. And then you're going to make a double crochet on top of the double crochet you had made. In round two and that is it that is your round three one double crochet your two little buds one double crochet and your two little buds and I will meet you at the end of your round three And this is what your work will look like at the end of your round three and that will be the color now we're going down you know crocheting our way down the body of your dress and your third round with a slip stitch on top of the chain three you had made and for your fourth round you're going to chain three and at the bottom of that chain three you're going to make a double crochet so now in between our two buds we are going to have two double crochet we are going to increase by one double crochet in between each and every one of your two buds so you proceed by making those two buds in the chain space like we did on round two and three and then again on top of the double crochet instead of making one you're going to make two double crochets in that same space All right, so we are going to continue like that all around your fourth round and I will meet you at the end of your fourth round. We are increasing. We are creating the bust of our dress. All right, so here we are at the end of your fourth round and your round with a slip stitch at the top of the chain three and chain three and for round five to nine, you're going to just go around making your two double crochets and then your little flower butt pattern, two double crochets, flower butt pattern and I will meet you at the end of your round nine.
And here we are at the end of your round nine. Look how beautiful it is. So you can see how the dress is taking shape. You have your collar and you have the beginning of your shoulder. And you are at the end of your round nine. All right, so round 10 will be another round of increase. Chain three will count as your first double crochet. And in that second double crochet from the previous round, you're going to make two double crochets. So now in between your little flower buds, you will have three double crochets. And continue like so, making an increase in between your flower pattern all around your 10th round. And then for the 11th, 12 and 13 rounds and 14 you will just go in pattern making three double crochets in between your flowers and I will meet you at the end of your 14th round. And this is what your work will look like at the end of your 14th round. It's a circle. <laughs> we will eventually fold it like that to create your beautiful dress so this is where we are right now we just finished this and now we're going to create the body and the opening for your sleeves so you are going to place a stitch marker right at the last stitch of your round 14 you are going to skip nine little groups of two little puff stitch and put your second stitch marker right there so your stitch marker will be placed on the last of the two buds then you're going to skip six little group of two uh, puff stitch and place your third stitch marker there. That will be your first armhole opening. And then you're going to skip eight little groups of flowers and place your next stitch marker and place your stitch marker on top of the last puff stitches. So in between the four stitch marker and the first one you had placed, you should have six group of flowers. This will be your second arm opening. All right, to resume it again, between the first and the second stitch marker, you will have a nine group of flowers that will be the front of your work. Then you will have between the second and the third, a six group of flowers. That's your first armhole opening. And between the third and the fourth, you will have eight flowers that will be your back and then between the fourth stitch marker and the first one you placed you will have your second arm opening which consists in six flowers. I hope it makes sense. So you have six stars in both of your arm opening, that's 12. Then you have for your front nine stars and from your back eight stars. And I like to always leave a little more space in the front to leave room for our chests. So right after your first stitch marker, chain three and begin your 15th round, you will be working on nine flowers. So it is three double crochets, your flower, three double crochets, working on nine flowers until you reach your second stitch marker, right there. You are working on the front of your body. You reach your second stitch marker and between the second stitch marker and the third, remember you have six you have six little flower patterns, right? This is what you want. And now we are going to chain five and we're going to create a little bridge in between the front and the back, as I said. So you skip your six little flowers separated by double crochets. You're going to go to your third stitch marker, which was right at the end of the bud, remember, at the sixth bud. And we're going to join with the first double crochet right after your third stitch marker. Let me show you how to join seamlessly. So I took a little swatch to show it to you because I had filmed it and it was really at the bottom of the screen. So you just yarn over, you skip those six uh, flowers, you go to the first double crochet right after your stitch marker and you make a double crochet inside that stitch right on top of the double crochet from the previous round. Voila, just like so. And then you continue in pattern with two more double crochets. And just like that, you created a double crochet that is going to continue that round seamlessly. And this is what your work will look like. And now what you need to do is continue in pattern until you reach your next stitch marker. We had placed 
and when we reach your, your next stitch marker we will work on the second sleeve opening so now you're just continuing in pattern so three double crochets and then your flower and i will meet you once you reach your other stitch marker All right, so here is your other stitch marker you had put on top of your bud. So you're going to, after your last double crochet, just chain five again, skip six flowers, and here is the first double, the first stitch marker you had put. So what you're going to do now is just find the top of the chain three we had made and you're going to slip stitch. And just like that, you linked the body, the front and the back, while creating two openings for your sleeves. And now we are going to count this as the first round of your body. All right, so begin your round as usual, chain three, it will count as your first double crochet, two more double crochets, continue in pattern until you reach the first little five chain bridge we had made. All right, at that point you can take off your stitch markers, this is going to be the beginning of your round for now. All right, so go in pattern until you reach up right there, the first chain seven you had made. We want our pattern to be seamless and continue under the sleeves the same way. So now, right before you reach your chain, you would made three double crochets. So in the first chain, you're going to make a flower made out of two buds. So in the next chain, the first chain of your chain seven, you're going to create your pattern, making two buds in the same chain, separated by a chain one. And then you're going to make three double crochet, one in each of the three next chains. And then you're going to make another uh, little bud, another little flower, bud flower made out of two flowers. That's in the next chain. So you have one flower, three double crochets, and you're going to make another flower right there. And you will continue on your chain in pattern until you reach the other side of your chain. And then you continue in pattern on your body until you reach the second chain and you do exactly the same on the second chain. And voila, just like that, you have opening for your armholes and now we are going to only be continue working on your body. Okay, so if you remember at the beginning, the all the very beginning of our work, when we began with our color, with the chain, we had 29 flower buds in total. And then we did the upper part of the shoulder, and then we began uh, with the um, opening for the sleeves. We took six flowers on each side, so minus 12 flower. We had 17 flowers, and then we added the chain five. And we added two flowers at each and every opening for the armhole. All right. So now we have 21 flower buds in total to work on the body. And that is what we're going to do. Work on those 21 buds in the first round of your body. Here we go. We have the second chain. And we repeat exactly the same thing on the other chain. And I will meet you at the end of the first round of your body. Remember, you're adding two flower buds under each armhole with the three double crochets in between.
So at the end of your first round of your body, you're going to slip stitch with the first chain three you had made. Chain three will count as your first double crochet and just continue in pattern around and around and around for from round two to the end of round 23 continuing in pattern so your flowers and then three double crochet in between and for around 24 we are going to increase in between your flowers adding one double crochet all right so you are at the beginning of your 24th round you have slip stitch you have chain three it will count as your first double crochet you're going to make another double crochet in the next stitch but then you're going to add one in that same second stitch and then make another one in the next stitch and just like that you added one double crochet in between your group of buds so now you're going to make your bud regularly right so two little flowers separated by a chain one by now you know it very well And then you're going to add a double crochet again in between the this pod and the next one so make one double crochet and then make two double crochet in the next stitch in the same next stitch and then a double crochet in the next and that is what you're going to do all around this 24th round and i will meet you at the end of your round And this is what your round will look like beautiful so instead of three double crochet now you have four double crochets in between your flowers and for the rest of your dress this is what it's going to be doing a few rows of your pattern with four double crochets in between your in between your flowers and then adding one double crochet so you will have five making a few rows with five double crochets in between and then six and then seven and then we and then wait <laughs> i speak french and then eight but for now we are going to do round 25 to 27 with four double crochet in between our flowers and we are here at round 28 and for round 28 again we're going to begin the regular way chain three will count as your first double crochet make a double crochet in the next one but in the third double crochet you're going to make two double crochets in the same stitch and then continue regularly making one more and just like that you have a five double crochet now in between your flower so for this round you're going to begin you're going to continue making the same thing adding one double crochet in between each and every flower and then you're going to continue in pattern having five double crochets in between your flowers until the end of round 32 and this is what you're going to continue to do for the rest of your pattern and you're going to do those then four rounds with four double crochet in between your flowers five rounds with five double crochet in between your flowers six rounds with six double crochet in between your flowers seven rounds with seven double crochet in between your flower and so on and so forth until you reach the length of the dress you want I ended up with nine rounds of nine double crochet in between my flowers and then I stopped it reached I'm about five three so it reached about my ankles my mid ankles and I liked that length of course you can make it shorter you can make it longer but anyway this is so so versatile you could do whatever you want a short dress um, kind of a long dress whatever you wish i love this pattern so much because it looks very complicated but it's not once you get the gist of the pattern all right so now we are done with the body of your dress at the end of your last row you fasten off and we're going to address the sleeve so you go back to the armhole opening right there and with the right side of course of your work facing you you're going to go to the end of the bottom part of your sleeve and you're going to join your crochet hook right there on top of the first double crochet of a group of three so your sleeve will be crocheted in the round again 
And we're going to pick up double crochets and flowers all around the opening. The way we're going to do it is pretty easy because you're going to continue in pattern. So whenever you meet a flower bud, you make a flower bud group. But in between your flower buds, instead of having three double crochets, we're only going to pick up two. So you're, you will have two double crochets in between your little group of flowers going around your sleeve. And it's fairly easy because you just follow pattern until you reach the bottom part of your sleeve and then I will show you exactly what to do. So here you go, you made your flower, you're going to make a double crochet, skip a double crochet and make another double crochet. That is it. Because you do not want the top of your sleeve to be poofy and big. Alright, so you are done going around your sleeve and now you have reached the bottom of your sleeve, which is a little harder because it's harder to follow pattern. It's less obvious, but it's still pretty easy. I'll show you what to do. So at the corner, when you reach down, you should have one little flower bud. And what you're going to do is pick up two double crochets right there at the corner and in the next flower bud you're gonna make a flower bud now what is a little different is that you're going upside down so you're going you're gonna have a flower bud going down and you're going to create one going up if that makes sense but that's okay no one will see the difference it's right underneath your arms so you're going to pick up two double crochets at the corner and then you see that little flower bud that is the wrong way that's okay open the two little flowers and in between you make your two flower buds separated by a chain one and that's the corner at the bottom of your sleeve and then you're going to pick up two double crochets on top of the three double crochets that are upside down too from the bottom of your sleeve but that is okay no one will see the difference I promise you so one double crochet and then another and then again you're going to make a flower bud in that upside down flower bud that is presenting itself to you the same way Voilà. So see how you have those two and now we have a little flower so we have to make two double crochets and a flower bud in the corner and then slip stitch with the first chain three we had made. So here is one, here is two and then in the corner stitch this time you're going to make a flower bud. I mean two, two flowers separated by chain one. And just like that, you are done with the first round of your sleeve slip stitch with the first on the top of the first chain three you had made and for the second round super easy you're going to follow pattern making your flower buds with your two double crochets in between them and the sleeve is going to be super easy it's going to be again following the pattern with uh, the shape of your arm and then flaring it at the end and this is exactly how I did it So 
So from round 25th to 28th, you have two double crochets in between your flowers. And then from around 29 to 32, you have three double crochets in between your flowers. And then you have rows 33 to 36, where you will have four double crochets in between your flowers. And at the end of that, for my size of arm, but of course you try it on and you see the size of your arms. Some of us have shorter arms, some longer arm, but then I fastened off at the end of my last round and I was done with one sleeve, gave it a little beautiful little flare. And I just repeated exactly the same thing to the other sleeve. And that was it, my friends. Look how beautifully it goes from the shoulders to your sleeves without even noticing it. I absolutely love it. And I love the flare with the little flowers. Anyway, I love the way those sleeves flare at the end and how the leaves make it flowy, almost like little vines going down your body. I love it really really pretty i'm loving 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 this pattern i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as i have enjoyed creating it for you i am looking forward to many many more as usual the written pattern and different sizes will be on my blog here is my blog address in a few days from now and that is it so we'll see you next time i hope you're all doing well and i love you all and happy crochet Bye! Hope you can hear me using a new lens today. I think it's nice. What do you think? Like to create. F uh, <coughs> oh my god! <coughs> my cat Luna is in my throat, which, by the way, is one of my favorite brown brand crochet. Um, because you have to have because you have to have you have to have <laughs> because you need to have some basic crochet um, oh my god I cannot talk again and of course as usual and of course as usually <laughs> usually and also I will show you here on the screen for those of you <coughs> and then I will pook I will pook I will pook pook <laughs> enjoy whatever we re whatever reason creative pro process <laughs> the huh, itchy <laughs>